Yes. Welcome. Welcome to your practice and welcome to your own presence and your own space and this gift of time to just feel and breathe and move. So I'm just gonna start sitting on this little triangle blanket. And just center. So sit however you like, whatever way feels good and supportive. And then let's just start by turning the palms up. This is great surrender, you know, sadly. I don't know. <laughs> just give it up, give it up. Good. Take a full inhale and grow nice and tall. And exhale, close your eyes, bow your chin slightly. And just feeling into everything on offer right now. That easy flow of your breath. And matching the howling winds outside. Soften all the muscles of your face. Release your eyes. As you begin in this seat of the yogi, one who has come to their mat to explore, to experience, to breathe, to feel, to move, to open, to release, all of that right here. Welcome yourself as you inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, join your palms together in front of your heart and bow your chin. With great reverence for all that you are and all that came before you, and all that will come after you. Embracing all that is as we open this practice, chant on three times. Inhale to lengthen. Sitting your hands to your thighs, lift your chin and open your eyes. Okay, so let's just start by just stretching your legs out. Give them a little wiggle, give your wrists a little wave, give your legs a little pounding if you like. And okay, and then we're going to start with a um, foot massage. So I'm going to actually just take this blanket out and just for like the hip. I'm going to sit like this, but if that's, you know, if you're happier, you sit however you like. Yeah. Now we'll just start. I'm just going to take opposite hand to foot. I didn't say which foot. And we're just going to start to roll that ankle a little bit. And go in both directions. Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to point and flex the foot and I'm going to use the hand to kind of pull and push. I still have my socks on because sometimes when you rub your feet with a sock on, it actually feels really nice. So I'm going to do this a few times, just pushing and pulling. And then I'll bring the foot into its flexion, make a little fist, and just give it a little wake up pounding, smiling and breathing. Smacking your foot on the sides, the sole, the heel. Do that a few times answer and then I'm just going to go to the toes and I'm just going to push the toes down 
and then flex the toes. I'm just gonna use my hand to do that. Make sure you don't forget the little pinky. Let's get them all involved in this. Yes, okay. And now I'm just gonna rub the foot with both hands. So adjust your stance, whatever you need to do, and just give it, if you wanna drop it, drop it. Give it a little rub. Yeah, with the sock, without the sock, you know the good stuff and the good parts and all of that. Okay, so that should be nice wake up. And then we'll just stretch the legs out. You know, I love to close my eyes and just feel one foot energized, waken, other foot dead and lifeless. <laughs> Maybe that's extreme, but that's how it feels. So we're gonna switch legs. Yeah, and then we're just gonna start again, just rolling the ankle a few times. And so you can use your hand. Notice, you know, maybe the foot is doing the work or the hand is doing the work. Both are right. And then reverse the opposite. Circling, breathing. Good. And then I'll use that hand to just press it into flexion and pull it into its point. Again, you know, notice if your foot's doing the work or your hand, both are right. Good. Okay, and then we'll bring that foot into whatever, you make a little fist and just tap that sole of your foot. Wake it up. Get all the parts. And then I'm just gonna come up to the toes and use the hand to just flex the toes and point them, all the toes. And then your breath. Good. Okay. Next. And then I'm just gonna massage the whole foot. So use both hands or one hand's better, it's all fine. Let's bring some energy awakening into the sole of your foot. Yes. All right. And then we'll just let the feet again just stretch out. Maybe you open your legs, do a little bit of in and out. You know, the entire leg is moving. Good. Okay. All right. So I'm going to come back to this. I think I'm going to start here. A little bit of this. Just the side to side windshield wiper. Your shoulders move. And I still have my socks on. Might take them off in a moment. We'll see. Okay. And then just coming to rest here, you know, get the, let's take the wrists for a stretch. So I'm just going to pop myself forward, see if I can take the hands back just so I feel like, oh, I'm at the stretchy of my wrists and spread the fingers. And, you know, you might get that without even taking the hands back. So open the shoulders, open the chest, breathe. And we'll just take cat cow. So I'll keep the hands where they are, but if you need to move them, move them. Just opening your heart, your chest, and closing. Now, because I have the hands back so far, as I bring the shoulders forward and press the heart space back, Feel like I'm really getting into that space between the shoulder blades. So whatever's happening is good. Good. Okay, so let's to let's end off in the <clears throat> cat per portion. So you're pressing back, take the shoulders forward, release your jaw, press your heart back. Breathe. Okay, and then slowly lift yourself up. I'm gonna turn the left hand out. If your wrist needs a little break, maybe you pop up on your fingers, pads. Okay, I'm gonna take the right hand all the way across and then just turn. Look behind you. If it's too much, you know, just put the right arm to the inside of the right leg. One more breath. And then we'll release. I'm going to lift this right arm straight up just to get the extra shoulder. Wind it all the way behind till it comes to the floor. 
and then take the left arm up, turn yourself, take that arm to the outside of the right knee or outside of the left knee, and then anchor your feet, turn, breathe. And then same thing to release. I'll just lift this left arm straight up, take it all, all the way back. Okay, now I have my fingers pointing away from me. I'm just gonna do a couple cat cows here. And if that's no good, you know, make your hand in a place that feels happy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna turn the fingers back towards the hips and just opening the wrist. You could always have them pointing out. Okay, I'm walking my feet in, guys. I'm getting ready to lift up. So if that's not in your wheelhouse, you just arch your back. Maybe you lift your hips a little bit. Wherever the hips go, I'm just gonna floss the shoulders in the back plane. Right, so good for us. Wrists are moving, the shoulders are moving. That's it. Okay, do one more, whatever it is you're doing. And then we're gonna lower the tush down. You're gonna open the feet apart. Take the left arm all the way. Okay, you're gonna grab hold of the front of your right shin. Then the right hand comes, grabs the left shin. And now I'm just gonna drop back into this cow, uh, no, cat portion. So I'm just pressing my heart back. I'm gonna anchor the shoulders down, drop the head. Breathe. Maybe you can let your head go a little more. Even the shins are pushing out. Okay, pull yourself in. Release your hands to their perspective shins. Yeah, and now we lean back. And I'm going to try and keep my spine long. Take the back of the head in line. With the spine, drop the shoulders. Take your belly in. Pop your jaw. Well, if you feel balanced here, you can lift your feet up off the floor, then we're just going to turn it into a boat pose. If that works, and then you breathe, then you smile like you love it. Okay, and then we'll lower the feet to the floor. Hands are back on the shins. We all lift ourselves up. Good. Take your left hand behind you. Wherever it goes, my fingers are going to point away. I'm going to walk it back. Take the right arm up, and now take that same twist. So we bring it to the outside of the left shin, the left thigh, push back into the thigh. Thigh pushes back, turn. Now you see your left hand there. Can you spread your fingers a little bit? Really anchor. One more breath. Good. Okay, to release, you're going to take the right arm, reach it straight up, turn yourself, bring it down. Once it touches, then we'll take the left arm up. Find that same twist, turn, anchor. You can look at your right hand there, spread the fingers. The twist is happening, mid, low belly. One more breath. Then we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna lift that hand up all the way, come back and turn my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna lift up again. So you go wherever you need to go. Okay, if you're good here, I'm gonna just shift the weight over to the left hand, really anchor it, take the right arm up. And just breathe. One more. Now lower that right hand down, find the balance, adjust your feet out whatever you need with the left arm. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, okay, both hands down, touch down. And now we're just gonna bring the feet together, give yourself this big hug. Maybe you can wrap your arms so tight that you're holding on to opposite elbows. I'm going to drop the head, press the heart back, drop the jaw, drop the shoulders. I'm going to come one more boat pose. So pull the thighs in, lift yourself tall. Maybe you're on your tippy toes, heels. Maybe we just move the feet a little bit here. Oscillate the ankles. Oh, maybe I'll roll the ankles, the balance on the sit bones. You can put your hands on the floor if you need to. Good. Okay, I'm gonna stretch the legs out. Duh, like a beautiful dancer. That's it. And then just take your hands down, lift yourself tall, flex your feet. 
And if you need a blanket, you can sit on there. Okay, I'm just gonna walk the hands forward for a little forward fold. It's really our first, you know, foray into stretching the legs a bit. So be very kind and just feel, you know, you're not looking to get anywhere other than where you go. And then once you hit that place, let your head start to go. Open the backs of your legs, maybe you flex your feet a little more. One more breath. Okay, and we're gonna come up and maybe you start by lifting your head and your heart, you know, like we do a halfway forward fold and then the hands will just come up, if that's okay for your back. Okay, we lower the hands to the floor. So from here, guys, I'm gonna to come to sit in Vajrasana and that's where we tuck both little feet, little legs underneath us. So I'm just gonna pop the legs in, come up, no hands. Okay, I know this is not everybody's um, jam. So you could do this in cross-legged. So what we're gonna do here is just rock the hips side to side. And maybe we start with the hands first. So you can put your left hand down, rock your hips over, and then just come over to the right. So you can use your hands, you know, just find that rocking of the hips side to side. And then if you feel okay without your hands, no hands, and you just move the hips. Okay, and do one more of this rocking. And you're gonna end on your non-dominant side. So if you're right-handed like I am, you're just gonna drop the hips to the left. You can pull your legs out if you need to. I'm just gonna put the right hand down and I'm gonna crescent over towards the right. And this can be, well, it can be what it can be. So feel this, okay, if you're good, I'm gonna put the left hand behind my head and I'm just gonna floss the back of the shoulders a little bit. So I'm just moving left elbow. But you could do this with the arm not behind the head, just kind of find your own little movement. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this crescent. So just lift the heart, extend the left arm, and then we're gonna come back. So use your hands or not, bring yourself back to your center. And then we're gonna take the hips over to your dominant side with your hands or no hands. Adjust your legs, sit on your blanket if you need to, and then we'll take the left hand down, the right arm comes up and over. And you just feel for yourself. Good. Okay, I'm gonna put that right hand behind my head and just floss a little bit more into this right side by moving the elbow up and down. If that's not good for your shoulder, you just listen to your body. Okay, maybe I do less. Okay, that's my last one. Move open. And then release that arm back out. Okay, and then we're going to come back to sit. However, this works for you. Pause. And I'm just going to pop myself onto the toes. So toes tuck under. If you need to put your hands down to you know, ease your way in, do that. And if you're comfortable here, then, you know, no prizes, no awards, except for maybe more open feet. Okay, one more breath. I'm gonna come back to tops of the feet on the floor. Okay, now I'm gonna take the hands back and lean back. And you just be kind to yourself. You know, if that's not in your wheelhouse, you could do this a different way. Yeah. Good. Now I'm just gonna rock the hips side to side. My hands are on the floor. I'm just doing a little bit of rocking. Just rolling around on my wrists and moving the hips. Now I'm gonna lift the hips up. So if that works for you, lift up and lower. And just do that three times. So you lift and lower. Start to feel maybe a stretch in the front of your thighs. Good. Okay. And then we'll come out of this. Good. All right, guys, we're gonna come to lie down on your tummy and maybe you wanna put a blanket down to support you from like, um, support your belly. And you could have another blanket for your head if you like. Well, I still have my socks on. I think I'm gonna leave them on for a little bit. 
a little chilly here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, and then once you come down, let's just receive gravity. Just go palm over palm, drop your forehead, and release yourself through your breath. Just feel everything that's present for you right here. Okay, okay. so a nice full breath in. Hold it, press out through your belly as if you could push that air out. And then exhale, release. Okay, so let's come up for a little, um, let's start with baby cobra. So take your hand underneath your shoulders and obviously lift your head so you're looking down. And we're just going to stretch the legs back one at a time. So you just lift one leg, pull it back, lift the other leg. And you do that a few times. You get longer through your legs and then tops of the feet on the floor. Okay, lift just the shoulders. Bring the shoulder blades together a little bit. Take the belly in and then lift back of the head, heart. And just come up with so high, like you take your hands off the floor and nothing changes. Spread the fingers, elbows in, extend the legs, keep looking down. You can lift your heart a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then lower all the way down, come back to rest, but change whichever hand was on the top, put it on the bottom, and just feel. Sit backward. Okay, we're gonna do the same pose, we're just gonna change it. We'll lift your head, take your arms by your sides with the palms down. I'm just gonna sneak mine underneath the blanket, spread your fingers. Yes, and now let's start by just lifting the shoulders. Lift your heart, lift your head. If you wanna lift your legs, you can do that. But spread your toes, keep the hands on the floor. You know, just they're just resting there. Pull the head back and now maybe you lift your arms, but you don't have to. Reach your hands back as if you wanna reach your straight arms towards your feet, a little more breath. And then slowly lower down, hands first, then chest and head, and sneak your hands up to support your forehead. Turn your big toes in towards each other, heels out. And with your forehead resting, you start to gently turn your head side to side, massaging your forehead. Bring your head back to center. Good. Okay, you will lift the head, place the hands back for cobra, spread your fingers, and then lengthen your legs if you need to. Lift the shoulders, lift the head, lift the heart, and now you press your hands down and away. And you come up, keep the shoulders back, keep the belly back, keep the chin in. And you can stretch your legs and wiggle up, I'm not against the wall. And then just be wherever you are here. That could be lower elbows, you know, they don't have to go straight. Notice if your shoulders are hunching open and now lower, but keep your hands where they are. Just come down. Now tuck your chin to your chest and inhale, come up. You lift your head and exhale. Your mouth low. Tuck your chin, inhale, come up and then. Exhale down. And we'll just do one more. And lower. And then we're going to rest. And just rest. You wiggle your tush a little bit. Rock your heels side to side. Okay. okay. Well, take a little cobra break and we'll come into this. Mm -hmm. Lying on your belly twist. So lift your head, take your hands back into um, cobra position, and then wiggle yourself side to side, bring the legs right together. I'm going to keep the right leg anchored, bend the left. You're going to roll over to your right side and press that left leg back, and then just come back and we'll just do side to side. So you just do the same thing with the right leg. Just move side to side and let your body move. Feel this little dance in your leg. You want to close your eyes. 
So just be with this. Oh yeah. Good. Okay, so we started with the left leg. We're gonna do one last of each and then come back. And as we rest this time, you're gonna open the legs wide, bend the knees, bring the feet together, drop your head, and then just take three breaths with your heartbeat. It's great surrender. All right, we're gonna press up and back to child's pose. So your legs are probably in good position. Just take your hands to cobra, lift the shoulders, lift the heart, lift the belly, roll over your knees and then find your child's pose. And maybe walk up onto your mat. Use the blanket if you like, just drop in. All right, so this is gonna be for just all that back stuff we just wanna release. So maybe your knees come closer together. They don't have to. Just really breathe into your Low back area as much as you can. Let your head be heavy. Take one more breath. And then friends, we're just gonna come to the hands and knees. So you do whatever you need to do. I'm gonna slip my socks off here. One at a time. Good. Okay, so let's start with just some basic cat cow. So set yourself up into your tabletop position. Spread your fingers. Yeah, and then just start to move in. So what you know so well is, you know, very, I'm going to use the word simple. It is a simple action, but you know, as people have been practicing yoga for many years, this has probably really changed for you since when you started. Okay, feel the belly doing the moving, just dropping and drawing in. Feel your head and your tailbone moving, you know, almost in opposition of each other, but working together. Okay, bring yourself to center. We're going to change this a little bit. You're going to take your right knee forward, maybe the left knee back. You just kind of play with your stance so it's very uneven. You want to walk one knee out. You can even widen them apart. And then come back to your cat cow here. Okay. Now, because we have the legs at this different place, you might even feel the hip is dropping and lifting. Well, probably the left hip. So whatever's happening, there's a diagonal. Okay, so now you felt that. Now we're gonna take the right arm, right hand forward. You can take the left hand back if you like. And then come back to cat cow and feel, oh, what happened? Where am I at here? It's a nice diagonal. Okay, now your work is to really play into this. You know, where, where can I reach? You might even be moving a little bit side to side. It's all good. Okay. We'll come to center. We're just going to change. So you just find the left knee forward, right knee back. Let's just go right with the left hand forward, right hand back. Just find it. And then move into this diagonal cat cow and be curious. You know, what can you do here? You can't do with everything on the same plane. Just move your body, friends. Move with your breath. Good. Okay. And then we're going to rest. Now I'm going to rest sitting on my toes. That might not be a rest for everybody. I'm going to turn the palms up. You sit however you like. If you want to take child's pose, you do that. Good. Just feel. You know, if you need to shake your wrists, there's a lot of wrist stuff. Do that. Shake them. Hi. <laughs> shake them out. Okay. I'm going to come into bent knee lunge now. If you want to use your blocks, you can. Otherwise, you know, come from tabletop. I'm just going to step the left foot forward. So I'll lift the left hand to get it there. And then, you know, if it feels too crunchy, walk the right knee back. Just find your place. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to move the hips. So if you're doing this and you're like, oh, this feels very crunchy, take the left hand to the inside of the left leg and feel free to walk your left leg out. 
You're just gonna move your hips. Maybe you'll start to circle. So as you circle, you know, the legs might move. Maybe your left foot wants to move. Let all of that happen. Be playfully curious. You know, how can you move here in a way that feels so good for you? Maybe it's front to back. Maybe it's side to side. Be in your great gift of embodiment. You know, whatever feels good. Let's just take maybe three more breaths here, three more moments. Just moving your hips, your leg, your thigh, maybe the foot. Good, okay. Then I'm gonna come into bent knee lunge. Just gonna take it forward. I've walked my left foot out. I'm gonna turn the toes out a little bit. The right hand's gonna turn out. And come to take the left hand to the thigh and we're just gonna twist here. And then you're gonna keep the hand on the thigh and just turn yourself so you look at your right hand then come back to this twist. So you're just moving, let your hips move. Let everything support this and whatever you need. Yes. Okay, one more moment. Good. Okay, come into this lunge again. I'm gonna take the left hand to the floor, pull the hips back, straighten your left leg, lift the sole of the foot if that's there. The hands can come onto the pads if that's there. If this is too deep for you, you know, you can always um, use your walks. Okay, I'm gonna pull the belly in. Oh, I'm gonna press the tush back. Yes, okay, and then come on back. I'm gonna bring the knees together. Okay, I'm gonna rest in Vajrasana, sitting on the tops of the feet. If that's no good, you know, do what you need to do. Child's pose could be great. And turn the palms up, just feel. Soften your breath, your gaze, like you just did nothing. Okay. One more breath. And we come back into bent knee lunge. <clears throat> so maybe we'll go hands and knees. And now the right foot's gonna step forward. So I lift the right hand, pop it in. Okay, do what you need. You can also use a chair, right? If you need a chair, that's that great. Okay, now we're here. And we start to move the hips, and then you feel for yourself, oh, I need more space. So maybe the right hand comes inside and right foot walks out to the right, toes turn out, and just find this moving. You know, the sole of the right foot could be lifting up as you come back, whatever works. Close your eyes. Just find your little dance. Maybe opening. What are you shifting, what are you releasing, and what are we receiving? Honor your movement, honor your hips, your legs, your chest, your breath. Okay. Whatever you're doing is good, and you're doing it. Okay, so we'll move into three more breaths here. And we'll meet in bent knee lunge. I'm just going to turn and face you. So the right foot could be out. You turned out, left hand, right hand to your thigh. And then we just find this twist. And then we'll just take it and look down. So the hips could be moving forward and back. You know, be in whatever you need to be here just to find this. Right. And let's just rest in the opening for one breath. And we'll take both hands to the floor and we're just gonna pull the hips back. Straight in the right leg, take the sole of the foot off the floor. Breathe here. Okay, so I'm just gonna find those little things by anchoring the heel, taking the belly in and pressing the tush back. Get a little bit more. Okay, and we'll come back from bent knee lunge to knees together. And again, I'm just gonna rest. So I'm gonna tuck my toes under this time. Turn the palms up, lift your heart, drop your gaze, 
Like nothing's happened. Okay. So the next one we're gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna do it through downward dog. You could do it through hands and knees. You can watch me really quick if you like. So I'm just gonna move the hip. So if I come into dog, I lift one leg up, and then I'm just gonna circle this hip. So I bring it in and across and out and up. I'm just gonna do this a few times. And we're gonna take it into pigeon. Okay, so you can do this on hands and knees, all fine. Now I'm gonna put this left knee down to the outside of the wrist. If yours comes to the inside of the wrist, it's fine. Add your props if you need to, but I'm gonna start with this rocking side to side on the hands. Okay, so I'm just really letting this move. I'm gonna bend the right leg just to get a little extra and let that move too. So this works for you great. If it's not happy, do less. <coughs> Good, all right. And we'll bring it into center. Let's stretch the right leg out. Maybe tuck the toes under, press the heel back. And then lower yourself down onto your forearms or all the way down to your chest and your forehead if you like that. And then wherever you are here in this pigeon, okay, I'm gonna put the top of the right foot on the floor, but it's deeply connected. It's not falling asleep. And then find your breath, melt your heart, your jaw, your seat. Good. Good, one more breath. Good, let me take this to twist. So you come back up onto your forearms and turn the right arm flat, spread the fingers and the left hand comes to the left thigh. And I'm just gonna lift the shoulder, but at the same time I'm pushing this left thigh out and down. Breathe. The right hand's pulling back. Oh, I can floss my hips here too while I'm doing this. Multitask. Good. Okay. Come back. I'm going to press back to downward dog, but if you want to go to hands and knees, it's fine. You take the left leg up in the air, just give it a little stretch, stretch and a, and a sh uh, shake. <laughs> okay, and then I'll take it down. Find your downward facing dog if that's where you are, and then we'll lift the right leg up. And see again, come into this hip circle. So it almost drops down to maybe halfway to plank. If you're doing this this way, now I'll bring that leg into pigeon. Okay, maybe your foot is flexed and maybe it's pointed. You know what's better for you? Once you're here, have the back toes tucked under. I'm just going to rock the hips side to side, all the way over to the right, shifting to the left. And we're going to add the bent knee of the left leg. So if that is there, we just invite in movement into these places. Can't always access. Okay. Bring yourself to center here. Stretch the left leg, tuck the toes under, push the heel back, and then lower yourself down. Once you push the heel back, let the thigh and the knee come back down. And then rest in your pigeon. Notice the difference in the two sides. You're going to have one side that's tighter. This is my tight side. So really melt the heart. Put the top of the left foot on the floor if that is okay for your knee. And then you really anchor it down so that you are extending and aware the crown of the head, sole of your foot, your beautiful breath. One more breath. Okay, you can stay here because now you know we're going to twist. I'll put the left forearm down and really spread the fingers. Right hand to the right thigh and I'm pushing the flesh of the right thigh down to the floor. Let's turn. You can bring in some hip movement here. Can't be bad. Okay, 
crease. Come onto the hands. I'm just going to take downward facing dog again. Lift the right leg up in the air. Give it a little shake and a stretch. It's straight. I think I called it. Okay, and now we're going to come back down to child's pose. I'm going to bring the knees right together. And we extend the arms, walk them nice and long. Drop the head. Pump your breath. Okay, one more full breath in. Breathe out. We're going to come up to hands and knees, maybe through cat. Round up. Good. Okay, so from here, I'm going to come onto the belly. I'm going to do that through plank. If that's not interesting to you, just lower down. Otherwise, from here, one leg out, other leg out. In my plank, I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna challenge myself. Take one arm, reach it forward if that's there. And then the other hand, reach. Oh, maybe the legs. One leg up, other leg up. Okay, <laughs> one leg, right leg, left arm. Ah. And then switch. You could be down on your tummy now and just <laughs> observe my craziness. Okay, our craziness. And then lower all the way down. Beautiful, you guys. Okay, once you come down, turn your big toes in towards each other, heels out, and breathe. Feel your heartbeat. Okay, so you might want your strap because I'm going to grab that left foot with my left hand. The right hand is going to stay down. So if that works to grab it inside of the foot, outside of the foot, I'm going to take my thumb in with my fingers so it's not folding. Okay. Now, wherever you are here, turn and just bring your head straight. Look at the floor. Pull that left knee, left shin in. Take a big breath. Stretch through the right leg. And as you exhale, we're going to start to push that left foot back. And maybe the left thigh lifts, maybe the right leg, maybe the right arm. And keep looking down, spread the toes. Breathe, hug that left leg in a little bit more. And then lower yourself down and completely rest. Feel. Back line of the body. Left side a little heavier, more open. I'll take a full breath in. Side it out, bend the right leg, the left arm on the floor, right hand comes back, finds the foot. Okay, however that works for you, inside, outside, strap, all of that is good. Now, I'm just gonna accentuate, even though you can't see my right leg is dropping out and I'm pulling in. That's gonna open the shoulder. Then I turn and look down at the floor like nothing's happening. Stretch through the left leg. Inhale. As you exhale, push that foot into the hand. Find whatever body parts want to lift or not lift. All good. Squeeze the right knee in towards the left knee as best as you can. One more breath. And then release and rest. Yeah. So good. And we're just going to come back to Lying on your belly twist, just release the back. So bring your hands to the cobra. Shift side to side, get your legs together. Let's start with the left leg this time. Oh, we did start with the left last time. That's okay. Go with the left. And just move yourself side to side here. You're just moving your back around a little bit. Maybe you push the hands into the floor and as one leg goes over to one side, you actually can press yourself up if that works. Okay, on my last rotation, I'm going to end with the right leg over to the left and then come down. Okay, rest. Guess what's coming next? I'm going to hold both feet. So maybe you get your strap in place. If holding the feet is not, you know, I'm just going to shift up and throw the bolster in because, you know, the bolster can kind of help. So if you, if you like that, I put the bolster down. I'm going to lie on it, 
with the tummy so that the, the chest is lifted. And then I can bend my knee. Maybe you can grab your feet easier. Okay, and so as we push back, it's not so much prep here, I guess. If you're here, I'm gonna keep the feet in, press back, let the shoulders move. The thighs might not lift here. Spread your toes. Maybe you can even drop your head, your jaw. So I'm really working those, the thighs a little bit here. Okay, release. If you have the bolster here, you might like to just kind of hang over it. Breathe. Good. Okay. So you might not have a bolster, it's all fine if you don't. We're gonna do it one more time. Just you know, for the sake of exploration, I'm just gonna bring that bolster. So just pressing up to my hands and my knees and I'll bring the bolster down a bit. So the tops of the thighs, you know, my hip crease is here, but the top of the bolster. So then I lie down, you know, my feet are, they could lift, but they can also rest. So just feel, if you're using the bolster, it's at the top of your hips, on your thighs, then you bend your knees, reach back, Maybe the feet are closer here. Now the head and the chest, the chest is gonna stay on the floor probably. I'm just gonna press the feet back. You just see what happens. And if you're like, oh, oh this was horrible. <laughs> and you go, okay, that's my yoga, it's okay. One more breath. And then release. And I'm just gonna keep the bolster there as I stretch the legs out, drop the head and just breathe. Okay, I'm gonna press up and back, child's pose. And if you have the bolster, maybe you're just gonna bring it in front and you'll support your arms. Maybe your forehead's gonna rest on the bolster. Maybe not. Just breathe here. Your hands can just rest. You see the bolster for this little lift and it just encourages more breath to come into the chest area and the heart space. They breathe into your back. And so good, guys. So take a full breath in, breathe out, and then bring yourself up. And our last pose before we rest is going to be camel pose. So not everyone's favorite. But it is like, a, a, you know, that pose we just did. If you turn it around so you're on your knees, there's camel. Okay, so I'm just gonna come bring my whole shins onto this blanket, tuck the toes under, sit, come up. Just feel, you know, maybe you do one hand, let's start with one hand. Put the left hand down, reach your hips, reach your right arm, feel, and then just switch. Put the right hand down. Left arm lifts, lift your hip. Okay, now you could do that again, but I'm gonna go into camel. So if you're into this, you find your heels and then you start to lift your hips and you just take the thighs forward. Yeah, be where you need to be. Take the shoulder blades together and the head can drop back, but it doesn't have to. Take one more breath. If you wanna just lift one arm up from here, and then switch, go for it, okay? And then we'll lower down, so I'm just gonna come up, tops of the feet down, sit on the heels. If this is okay, if it's no good, switch it out. Good, okay, all right. So we're gonna come down, and I have, I have a bolster here, so I'm just gonna use it. Let's see, I'll just take the bolster, and I'm gonna put it this way. And I'll take my little blanket and just kind of just little rough roll and put it here for the head. Okay. Okay. Then let's find your socks. And if you're using cream or something, you can do that. I'm just gonna sit on the bolster because it's comfortable. You can sit on the floor, whatever works. We're just gonna massage our feet nicely. So this 
called Walk Softly. And I got this as a woman in Black Diamond. She calls her business Wildcraft Naturals. And she has beautiful, beautiful things and she drops them off at your house. So if you want more about that, let me know. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the left foot and you're just gonna massage your foot, your nice pink awakened foot. And that's the foot just saying, oh, thank you. I needed that. So get in between your toes, guys. Get the heels and then find your soft, sensitive, delicate middle part of your foot. Just love it all. Top of the foot, the sides of the foot. It's just a great opportunity to honor that which carries you. Okay, good. All right, and just give it a nice little this, maybe a kiss, and then we'll sock it up. So your feet are really nicely active. And then we'll do the other foot. It's such a, a sweet thing we can do for ourselves. And I was gonna just, I don't know, I was talking to my dad this week. My dad's doing great. And he was just reminiscing about when he was a kid and they used to play soccer all afternoon without any shoes on. And he would have thick calluses. He'd be like, you know, you'd step on a piece of glass you didn't even notice. <laughs> so that's not us. Okay, we don't have that kind of um, strength in our feet. Maybe you do. Okay, let's get all the toes, everything here. Send so much love and appreciation, gratitude into this sole of your foot. Okay, and then we'll sock this one up. I'm gonna to come to lie over this bolster and I'll have my heating pad too. You know. The great joys of practicing at home, bring it in. All right, I'm gonna start in Virasana, but you could just lie over this. If you wanna put a block underneath, you know you can always do that too. And so for me, I know I like Virasana. It stretches the thighs a little bit and I can lie over this quite comfortably here. But if that is not happy for you, you just stretch your legs out. If you want to do Baddha Konasana or knees bent, anything there. We're just going to rest here for a few breaths. The arms can come out to the side or they can, can grab opposite elbows and take them over your head if you like. If that's okay for you, and also rest full. And just feel yourself resting. You get all this back work. So resting on the bolster now is an opportunity for the back to be padded, to soften. Also a nice place you know, to open the low belly area. So this pose when we're lying over the bolster like this is called Shavasana too. So you're welcome to just drift on in here and change the position of your legs at any time. Surrendering completely to your rest. To the energies you have opened to your breath. To this body. In honor of your practice and your presence. Surrender more deeply. Inviting all parts of yourself to soften, surrender, and release. If you've chosen to be in, in 
Tadasana with the feet coming back. When you're happy, you can stay. If you need to stretch your legs out, you just give yourself permission to do that anytime. Sitting really deeply any place you can. Melt your heart space down. Your eyes. Staying for as long as you like. Just starting to awaken by deepening your breath. Bringing in movement into your ankles, your toes, your much loved and nourished feet. We'll add that into the fingers and the wrists. Stretching your arms over your head if you like for a few moments. And then bending the knees and either resting with the feet on the floor for a few moments or hugging your knees in if that's there. It's a little more challenging on the bolster, but also could be amazing. Come to rest on the side. I encourage you to stay there for at least three breaths if you can. And so feel the body almost descend once again. And it's once you feel that part of the body just going, ah, oh, I want to stay. Then that's the invitation to rise. And just taking your time because we're just going to sit in our own silence, in our own energy, shifted energies. You know, with great joy, because you did this work. You created and recreated this experience for yourself. So stay here as you inhale, and as you exhale, we'll bring the hands either together at the heart or resting on the heart if you like, just to press in and give yourself a little heart hug. Into this, friends, we'll inhale and lengthen. And as you exhale, you can gently open your eyes and we'll seal this practice with our May We Be Blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we all be happy. 
Conceal that. Inhale. Oh. Take a full breath in. Breathe into your hands. Put your breath and just honor this that you hold. And lifting your chin and opening your eyes. Share that with yourself out to each other and then we'll take it all back in yes pour that over you mm, beautiful yogis thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you i honor your presence i honor your practice thank you so so much love in my heart and it's a joy to share practice with you have a great rest of this day this cozy cozy day I'll we'll see you guys on Thursday. So much love, you guys. Thank you, everybody. Give me a pee. Me say thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> My baby. I'll see you later.